never can use any other language like that um, about the kind of roles that Ms. Uh, Heard was being offered. To focus you in, Ms. Sexton, I'm talking about the period when uh, Amber and Johnny were together in a relationship until you stopped being her acting coach in 2017. And I'm focusing in on what you were called hearing from Mr. Depp about what roles he thought Ms. Heard should play. As I said, it, he would be sitting, he would, initially when she lived in the Orange um, location, sometimes he would be nearby, it was a fairly small house, um, and he would be nearby and kind of uh, earshot. So there were times that he was kind of just disparaging, that's, that's a shitty role, why would you do that, that kind of thing. Um, but he wasn't super negative then. Later on, um, it, as it went on, he was very vocal about the negative terms. Like I said, he called it a whore part or a trash part um, or a piece of shit, um, all sorts of things like that. Generally pretty negative if it was something he didn't want her to do. Did the number of roles that Ms. Heard auditioned for change during the time that she was involved with Mr. Dunn? Yes, it did. Uh, it was decreasing as it went, um, and there would be stretches of time where she wasn't auditioning at all or working on anything at all. During the time that Mr. Depp and Ms. Her were together, did you observe changes in their relationship over time? Yeah, early on they were incredibly lovey-dovey and um, passionate and um, always together in a positive way. They were very playful and friendly. Um, and then I would see less and less of them together and I would hear a lot of um, muffled arguments through the walls. Um, uh, and when I did see him, uh, sometimes it, 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 the balance would shift. It went from being like a normal couple to very tension filled especially those last few months that they were together. It, um, and, yeah. Uh, did they, uh, was there a chick withdrawn? Did the, the number of times that Ms. Heard was late for or canceled sessions with you change as her relationship with Mr. Duck went on in time. Yeah, and as I said earlier, uh, Amber was never late when we worked at the studio. Um, and then as it went on, I began having to actually build in a cushion of an hour around her appointment. Um, it started out just an extra 15 minutes here and there because she'd be late coming downstairs or um, they'd be discussing or he had to talk to her at that moment in time and eventually as the relationship progressed and the fighting got heavier um i would have to build in time because she'd be sobbing at the beginning of sessions and we couldn't work until we got her together um uh, yeah i ended up having to do a lot of cushion time around her just so that we could actually get something accomplished because she was often very upset did you have occasion to observe Ms. Heard crying, naturally, not acting, um, when you had coaching sessions with her during the time that she was together romantically with Mr. Duff? I would say the last year they were together, probably 80, 90% of our sessions began with her crying. Um, uh, and that would be increasing as it went on. Um, Ironically, she has a little difficulty crying, um, acting-wise, so, uh, which a lot of us do. Um, and so, yeah, we would have to work when we were doing it acting-wise, but it was a lot towards the end there, a lot of crying sessions. Based on your testimony here, Ms. Sexton, is the acting, is the crying that she did in a role different than the crying you observed so often in the last year of her relationship with Mr. Depp. Yes, inherently acting, crying is very different um, unless somebody is working in what's called method in which 
that's an entirely different thing where they focus on their own stuff. Um, so she's not a method actor, so it would be completely different. Speaking for your own self, Ms. Sexton, how did you react when you saw uh, Amber at these sessions crying the way you described it? I have a caretaker personality, so I would prioritize taking care of the person in front of me over um, doing work which is why I ended up building in all that extra time because uh, I cared about her as a human and I wanted to be there for her in as much as I could as a friend. Um, so th there's no point on working on something if someone isn't fully there or they're upset. Um, it's more important to deal with the person and take care of them than work. And during those sessions, particularly in the last year when you saw Mr. Klein so often, what was your understanding of the reason for her tears? I would hear them fighting and then hear her come in um, and she would be a wreck after she came in. I, could, I couldn't make out what they were saying and I personally wasn't trying to listen to their fights um, so I would just hear the sounds of the screaming um, and her usually... <laughs> She, uh, you could tell she would open the door and try to get him to be quiet and then it'd go back to him yelling. And um, So that would directly occur before she would come down and be uh, upset and trying to pull herself together. What do you recall seeing her today? She told you that they were fighting about I was witness to some of those. You didn't want her going out without any sort of security or any team. Um, he didn't want her going and doing things um, just on her own. You described earlier in your testimony in Sexton what uh, Amber Heard was like when you first met her. Um, during this period when she was involved with Mr. Depp and particularly toward the end of their relationship, did her behavior change? Over the course of time, she became uh, more and more of a hermit. Um, only leaving the house when she had to. Um, again, as I said earlier, it, literally the house houses became darker with the curtains drawn all the time. Um, a, a, I remember one time in particular when we she was living at the Eastern Columbia that um, we went downstairs to get a slice of pizza. <coughs> I think there were four of us um, and. Amber gave a homeless kid down there some money and we helped him get to the bus stop and we came back up and uh, Johnny yelled at her about going out and um, that she knew better than to be going out at night and that kind of thing. Um, and when we tried to kind of be like, it's fine, we got pizza downstairs at the building across the street. Then he just started screaming and getting really angry. So um, we, I made my way out. What about her weight? notice any changes during that period in her life? Just to be clear, Ms. Sexton, I'm asking about the time that she was involved with Mr. Depp. So Amber is one of those people that loses weight when she's stressed out. Um, so she uh, would drop weight and look skeletal um, at certain point, points in time. Uh, I remember right before their wedding, she had lost a significant amount of weight um, to the point that I was asking her if she was eating regularly. Um, uh, so she's always been fit, but she would drop down and get a little gaunt if she was super stressed out. And in that last year that she was involved, um, what was the depth of you know, changes in her weight? Yeah, she lost a significant amount of weight, and I noticed it specifically because um, I had been in Australia doing a film, and then when I came back, uh, so I'd been in Australia since December, I came back in February, and she looked, uh, she was skin and bones. Um, like she was much thinner than she normally was at that point. So I know during that time period that she had lost a lot of weight and she was very gaunt. Now, I'm gonna uh, shortly move on to specific incidents. But for now, Ms. Sexton, I want to speak generally about things you 